Hello everyone, today we're gonna do a relatively quick tutorial. I recently experimented with Unreal Engine 5.6 and I realized that the way we blended materials um, in the last landscape tutorial was giving me an error. So I found another way from a really good Unreal Engine 5 channel, which the link I will leave in the description. I made a few changes to his system, which is why I wanted to show you um, this video. Um, so let's get into it. The first thing you'll realize, well, I'm going to put the before and after, and I actually think that this blending system works a lot better or the results are more, are nicer in general. Um, if you remember, this is the system that we had before. I completely erased it and what I did instead is if I go to my okay this one I completely erased what we had here and I did for layer 1 what we had done for layer 2 and 3 so I simply plug in the color into the color roughness and the normal then I created a another layer in our landscape layer blend by clicking on these plus and then simply naming it blend. A note is that when you mess with the layers, your landscape might have errors or mistake or it will look black since in the landscape, in the paint tab, we haven't created the layer info. What I recommend you to do is that if you go into your landscape mode, the paint mode, and then click here, you delete the previous layer's infos, reassign the material, and create them again here. That was the best solution I could find. But do that at the end, once you've edited your material. So let's get back to our material. And instead of what we have here, we have this, which is actually simpler. So the first thing we're going to do is blend between our grass and path layer, depending on the height. As you can see, here we start to see more of a path texture. And as we increase the height, we see more of a grass texture. Then we're blending between the rock and the previous layer based on the slope. And finally, we're using the same calculations we did here, here, to determine where the rock no longer blends with the terrain. So as you can see, from this height downward, we no, we no longer see rock. So let me go through it. Blends between grass and the path. First of all, we need the height of the world. So we use the absolute world position and we're only interested in the set value. Then we're going to subtract it from a blend height, a parameter that we determine. This will be the height at which the textures start blending. These, this part of the calculation will determine the space for the blend to happen in. So it will determine how harsh the blend is. We simply clamp the value from this subtract between zero and a max value that we will, we will determine and then divide by that same value. And then we saturate so that this number is between zero and one and we can use it as an alpha. Then we need to use this node, blend material attributes. This one and we will be blending between our path layer, which will go into the A input, and the grass layer, which will go into the B. Then we'll take this output, and this output will go into another blend material attributes, and we will blend between the rock layer and this output, based on the alpha that we determine here. Here we'll only have two parameters, the blend sharpness and the blend bias, which is um, the names of this node. 
road align blend. There's two ways you can do the blend. If I break this link and I simply change this one to here and click apply, you'll see that we still have blend, but it's it's like the one we had before. So it's an okay blend, but maybe not what you're looking for. And I found that if we actually use the explicit normal, so from layer two, which is the rock layer, we get material attributes, go here, and we select normal, since this is what we want to plug in here. And then instead of using the vertex normal as the alpha, we use the explicit normal the blend looks much nicer and it's based on the normal of the rock, of the rock texture. Let me just delete this. Then in world vector, you'll see that it's already selecting the set value. It's 0, 0, 001, so we don't need to change that. And I don't find necessary to touch any of these values. So now we have the grass and the path blending with each other depending on the height. And we also added the rock to blend based on the slope. But I don't want the rock to always be blending, which is why I simply copied these calculations. I changed the name of these parameters to know that I'm talking about only about the rock uh, layer. And then I made another blend material attributes. I got this output plugged it into B and I got this output and plugged it into A and the alpha is determined by these calculations. I, they, I then simply created a reroute declaration node, named it layer blend and plugged it into our new layer. And now let's see what we can do with the material instance. This is the material instance. I'm going to show you what each option does. Let's start with the first two parameters that we create, which is the blend height and blend width. If we change the blend height, you will see that if we go to a higher number, we get more of the path. And if we go to a lower lo number, we get only grass. If we then change the blend width, we will determine the space for the grass and the path to blend. Let me put these numbers as I had them. Okay, the next parameters that we created were the ones to blend the rock and we have blend sharpness and blend bias. So the blend bias will determine which texture to favor. So if we increase the number, we get more grass and if we decrease it, we get more rock. Let me put this by default. And then with the blend sharpness, we will determine how harsh the blend between one texture and the other is. Put it back to 15. And then the final two parameters that we created was the blend height for the rock and the blend width for the rock. If we decrease this, you'll see that we see more rock start to appear in all our landscape. And if we increase it, we have less. Let's put this back to where it was. And if we change the blend with rock, you'll see that the blend becomes harsher and harsher. I think this was 1,500. Okay. As you can see, it's a simple change, but the results are better than the ones we had previously. And we 
solve the problem that Unreal Engine 5.6 was giving us. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Also, don't forget to check out the channel I leave in the description. I found it tremendously helpful, and he has a lot of PCG content.